we're offering a platform for someone who wants to change our minds on something that they feel passionately about. Today, economist Philippe Legrand is brassed off about politicians calling for crackdowns on immigration. This is why he thinks they've got it all wrong. Freedom of movement is one of the most basic human rights. It's the ultimate protection against persecution and it offers the opportunity of a better life. As millions of Brits who have moved abroad know all too well, as does someone from an Irish village who now works in London. The rich take that freedom for granted. They can live where they want, work where they want, marry who they want. But most people, especially the poor, are expected to stay put. We can all now move freely across the European Union, all the way from Lisbon to Lithuania, something that seemed unthinkable even 20 years ago. And a society collapsed, hardly. In fact, the skills, hard work and diversity of the people who have come here have boosted the economy and public services. But the door is slammed shut to people from outside the EU unless they're rich or highly skilled. Denying people the right to move freely is economically stupid, politically unsustainable and morally wrong. It's time to think again. Well, I can feel that beside me, John Gorn <laughs> might be about to spit feathers and Philippe uh, joins us now and uh, ready to defend your ground. Uh, hold your fire just at the moment because we also want to know what you think, of course. If you've got a webcam, go to our website now, click on the video call link. You can make your point by phone this morning or you can text, email or tweet us. All those details are on the screen. John, yep. it's simply immoral to have border controls and it would benefit us all if we allowed everyone who wanted to come to yeah, come. Well, that's absolute nonsense, isn't it? I mean, I'm a great believer in well-managed, controlled immigration. It's made, made Britain better, made it stronger. I come from Coventry and you, Philip makes, uh, Philippe makes a great point about uh, the health service. And uh, uh, when I was growing up, I thought all doctors were from Pakistan because that's what it was in Coventry. They're all Pakistani doctors. No problem at all with well-controlled immigration. Clearly, though, we can't have an open door policy. Policy. And clearly, this is an island. We can't even head towards the 70 million, which is what we're heading towards at the moment. There's too many it's people already. We don't yeah, need Britain's more. Britain's full. Okay. Britain is full. Uh, Reverend George Hargreaves, your parents came from Barbados. Trinidad. 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 Trinidad they came from. And they came on invitation. They came yeah. to a job. My dad didn't come... In fact, never drew the door ever in his life in, in the UK. Do you want to leave the door open or do you no, want to I shut don't. it behind? I, see, I, I'm kind of halfway here. I agree that the emigra immigrants have built up this country, yeah. particularly from the Commonwealth, and have been, like my dad, he worked as a compositor for 40 years and really helped the economy. So many have. But at the same time, there's got to be wise stewardship. You, if a glass is full, you can't keep pouring water in it. Yeah. Philippe, it's going to make a mess. The country is full. Why is it? Why are we morally obliged to open the doors further? No, the interesting thing actually is that when George, George's father came, Britain did actually have an open doors policy. Anyone from the British Commonwealth, which actually was absolutely massive at the time, uh, had a right to come to this mm -hmm. country. And a Conservative Home Secretary in the 1950s even said it was an inalienable right. So not so long ago, actually, we did. And we only brought in our immigration control, the first immigration controls at all, in 1905. The reason why it's, it's, a, it, it's a moral right is yeah. because freedom of movement is a, is, is, an, is a fundamental human right. But hang we, on. Without it... OK, freedom of movement for, for other people. Who, for, for everybody. Okay. For everybody. I mean, if you think about but it... But is that, is that the priority? Freedom of mm -hmm. movement. What about the right to housing, the right to decent yeah. services, the but right to work? They're not, they're, they're not mutually exclusive no, at but all. What about those people, yeah. uh, perhaps who need all those services, services, who worry that if there are too many people, their rights get trodden on? Well, the first thing is, is that Britain is not full up. They used to make this argument in the 1930s as an excuse to keep out the German Jews, and somehow we've managed to accommodate 15 million more people into this country. John, I can the hear you. The second thing is... Absolute nonsense. The second thing is... The second point is that... 
three quarters of this country's agricultural land. If you look even at a map of London, it looks actually green from, yeah. from above in a, up in an airplane because actually there's loads of, there's loads of space. Okay, so look, you look at London okay, is why much do, less why do, why do, why do five million people in Scotland live in the central belt? That's because that's where the jobs are. Of course the highlands are unoccupied, of course the Lake Districts are, but immigrants aren't going to go there, just like Brits aren't going to go there. And also, it's very good for you, Mr Economist, from the LSE, these people who are coming in aren't taking your jobs, are they? When the absolute truth is, and it's not a racist point, people who are watching this programme who maybe are plasterers, sparkies, mechanics, electricians, etc, etc, okay. they're the people who have had their wages deflated by this open door policy Philippe, that people like you is, are proposing. Okay, okay. It's really what's interesting you say that actually because there's no evidence whatsoever uh, that, there's been, that, there, that there's been any reduction uh, in uh, right. native wages because of the influx of your East Europeans. Well, there's a very, the they, Labour, they, the there's a, Labour the, government, you said that. Well, the ex-Labour government can say what they want. Oh, uh, right. uh, so we'll believe you. I don't is speak. It well, look, is you know, why should they believe you? I well, mean, I'm you not know, you. I'm, it's, I'm it's, it's a terrible Let insult that, the, that okay. I come from LSC. What, I mean, what do you do? Let this is not... Let me put this point What I do and what you do is completely irrelevant. This is what you think actually is quite worrying. I was comparing what you do as an economist compared to people who've got ordinary jobs. Now you're telling me those facts are wrong. Well, I find that right? No, no can I, what Philip, I, find, I don't want this, this to be no, personal, you, but can I just ask you this? He described, oh, okay. he described immigration as a, an unwanted invasion and that we ought to resist like our forefathers did in 1940. You, you, now, you're quoting you, that out no, of context you, completely. Philip, I want you, to ask you a quote question. Quote the rest of the paragraph. Okay. To wrap yourself in the Union flag and try to protect your homeland from an unwanted yeah. invasion, like our forefathers Go did on. in 1940, is not racist. Yes, you're, you're saying it's an unwanted invasion. Okay, John and Philippe, I'm going to have to stop you right there, Philippe. I want to ask you a serious question about... Anybody who just talked about immigration, you people I did not, you try to smear us as racist. I didn't you're say, talking rubbish. I didn't say the word racist. I was quoting... I was want to interrupt because, I was saying it is not an invasion and it's nothing like the Second World War. And compared... Comparing the two, you're saying that East Europeans who are coming here context. to do up council excuse homes, me, to work me, in the NHS, to pick strawberries, are, strawberries are, are, are like the Germans in the, in the, during the Battle of Britain, Philippe, I really is frankly offensive and wrong. Philippe, I'm so sorry <laughs> to interrupt. Finally, I've had the chance to. Sure. I understand there are obviously enormous mm. emotions and people get very mm. uh, riled about this issue. But I want to ask you, Philippe, about the economic benefits to people who might feel very passionately about this. You have described that there are economic benefits to the country and to those people who are, are migrants. But what about for people back here? Can you persuade them that it is good for them as individuals? Uh, if you'd like English strawberries, for example, you wouldn't have English strawberries without migrant labour coming to pick the strawberries, simply because they wouldn't be too, they'd be too expensive and you'd actually be, you'd be, British people don't want to work doing it, so we'd have Spanish strawberries instead, which would be fine but for why, some. Why, why, care why homes, ask, ask, ask anyone who works in a care home, they cannot find any suitable British applicants, and like, we're going to have a massive increase in demand for care as our society ages. Again, but we can't find suitable British applicants. Look, we have a shortage. Not, immigrants are not taking the jobs, they are doing the jobs that people here don't want to do. The TUC, I think it is, has discovered that migrants pay more tax mm. than they claim in benefits. That it is simply not the case that they are taking jobs and pressurising resources, they are good for everybody. Well, the first thing we've got to deal with is why won't British people take certain jobs? Yes, and we've got a welfare system that makes it not worth working. That's not and about not, immigration. Not, 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 it's it is. The got, two are intrinsically linked. They are linked because you're saying we wouldn't have strawberries picked. We would if people had to go and find a job because they couldn't yeah. sit at home Drawing a, a, yeah. a, a dole money that would s s mean that going to pick strawberries was not worth their while. It is not fair then to blame this on immigration. That this is fair, simply fair what, easy. Blame no, 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 no. Easy target. Well, no, no, well, you're no. Saying, number one. Listen, your no, no. But no, but your question, your point was that the, 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 say that to the unemployed, that the, you know people, these people are coming no, and taking point, their jobs. So, no, and no, now you're saying that actually it's the problem no, Susanna, of those unemployed. Can, no, can, can, can I? There's got to be 